Virgo is ill. <laughs> okay. Take two. Hi Virgo, it's L here to do your next 72 hour energy reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this Virgo. Thank you Lord God for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. All right Virgo. I know I'm in a silly mood when it came to you guys and you guys are typically like really um, serious, you know, about business. Not that you don't know how to have fun and laugh, but you know, it's a time and a place for that. Okay, so we've got the lovers coming up, all right? We have the emperor, the emperor and the lovers, the lovers and the emperor, all right. Um, what was I getting for this? Oh, okay. Uh, we have majors here. Two major arcana here. So there's a major life choice you need to make in terms of some relationship. Relate, life choice, love, and work. The six talks about, and that's what this card is. Um, the lovers is a six card. It talks about analytical nature, and you guys are great at that. Um, it talks about um, asking the question, um, you know, how I balance everything out thus far. Is everything balancing out? Is it, is it harmonized? Is it, are, are we in harmony? Is this working? Are we on the same page? You know, harmony is when you're on the same chord, if you will. I'm not a music major. So you're at a place of asking yourself that in terms of some masculine energy with the emperor coming out, um, this person is this person is coming up as unmovable, you know, stoic, um, rigid. He's built a lot for himself in his life, and nobody's gonna tell him what to do. Right. For some of you, this is the 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 issue is that this person is already married. Okay, to somebody else and not you. And they're looking at you. Okay, and you're looking at them and you're saying, you know, is this going to work? You know, is this working? Is it just a sexual connection? I know I was destined to meet this person, but what for? Why come? You know, you're asking all those, the questions. Okay. Some of you are in connection with someone and you're wondering if this is your husband. Is this the final stop? Is this the person that you're going to marry? Is it the person that you, you're going to be with? For some of you, this person is not showing up in the capacity that you want them to show up in. You know that this is a significant relationship. You've done some significant life you know, altering uh, things or events have happened with this person. But you're wondering, is this it? Is, are they really going to... When you see the emperor, a lot of times it talks about husband. Is this my husband? Is this the man for me? Am I putting... Am I... Is this best for me? To me to be giving my service to? Is this... Does this best serve me also? Again, in that analytical nature here, I mean, you're, the universe is prompting you to be in that nature right now in terms of a relationship, maybe even a job here, or, or a business that you have. Is this working? Have I found balance, harmony? Or am I just going along to get along? Because at the same time, there's like an air of re regret, remorse, maybe even rejection. So much has happened that the person, you might even be dealing with someone who's very a masculine energy, who's very self-centered, can't see past himself, can't see past the issue, and he internalizes the issue, it goes right back to self. 
is not empathetic, is not does not have apathy. Just at this point, they may be a little too involved in self to to give you what you want. And you have to ask yourself that question. You're at that place. And if this is not you, Virgo, this is what someone who you're dealing with, this is what they're doing. They're saying, I know this relationship is, um, it's going to be long lasting because you guys have done some significant things together. But is this the final stop? Am I not seeing the blessing before me because I'm too focused elsewhere? I'm too focused on my myself and my you know on my own aspirations on what I want what I think I should have um is this I'm too I'm just discontent and bored here you could be also saying that Virgo there's just an energy here of um someone not wanting to change their journey change their heart change their home also i don't know where home came from somebody don't want to change homes they don't want to move they don't want to move off their center whatever the center is they they're not moving i don't want to move i don't this is it i'm stuck i'm somebody is unmovable unwavering trying to get them to see something your way to see it a different way different perspective it's out of the question move on therefore as the relationship is going on it could be ending at the same time it says dying a slow death someone could be choosing to stay in a relationship because of great responsibility but once again the the relationship could just be dying a slow death it could be transforming into um, something else. Someone could also have put someone in a friend zone or wanting to do that. This is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below you can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link thank you virgo many blessings to you take care